Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Tomas Villaseca from Westac, and we are now going to learn about uh, PNFs or physical network functions. Um, first of all, um, a physical network function uh, refers, in, in this case, uh, to, a, to a network function that is uh, physical. It's a, it's a box, it's a, a traditional one manufactured from a hardware provider. And um, some definitions first, uh, the PDU is the physical deployment unit, it's in the, the server itself when, in which we are going to deploy uh, uh, our function. Um, a PNF composes of a PDU, uh, as, a, as a BNF also has uh, a VDU, a virtual deployment unit. And uh, you can uh, make a, a combination of, of both of them in a HNF, an hybrid network function, which is composed of the both uh, type of elements, both physical and virtual. Uh, so in, in OSM, there is uh, no fundamental difference between how you, you use them. Uh, so th there is a, a, a certain uh, configurations that you need to, to address, but it's just that. Uh, in those cases, uh, you need to define the NS packages uh, consisting on the, the VNF or the HNF, and uh, OSM first needs to be uh, instructed about the available PDUs. We are going to, to show you how to uh, uh, configure or or make it available a PDU in the following steps. So in this scenario, we have an hybrid network service, uh, which is composed uh, by a client VM uh, and a BIOS router. Uh, in this case, we are simulating a physical unit uh, inside uh, our beam. It's isolated in a separate network. Uh, this makes it, makes it easier to to do the, the, the hack test instead of having a, a hardware, a, a real hardware equipment. But we're going to treat it as a hardware, a physical one. Uh, so we already pre-configured uh, the, the network uh, aspects of it, so we're just going to, to use it. Um, this will, uh, so we're going to use, as I said, a client VM and a BIOS router and a hybrid network service that, that's going to take the, the client VM and the, and the simulated router. And then we are going to use a day two proxy charm uh, in which we're just going to, to use, uh, create a file inside this, this router as, an, as a simple example. Um, so once, uh, once uh, all the network services is created or instantiated, uh, we are going to try uh, to, to make sure that it's working by executing this action on, uh, in the network service. So here you can see the, 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 the um, schema of, of it. Um, we have two networks, uh, one which you, all, you, are, you have been working uh, OSM external, and we created a new one that is called BNF network, uh, in which we are going to, we are, have already connected the, the BIOS, the router, and also a, a basic uh, BNF uh, that's based on, on a zeros uh, that I'm going to point you to, to download. So, first of all, uh, you need to I need you to um, access the, um, the OSM with, with your accounts. So please go to 172. So please go here and access with your credentials. I'm going to log in as an admin, but you, you access with, with your credentials, please. So here, the first thing that we need to do is create the, the PDU. Uh, in this case, uh, you don't have access to the, 
to the client, to the command line, because we, we are using this, this way. So we are going to use the, the graphical interface to configure and create our, our PDU. So to do that, you need to go here, uh, here in instances, PDU instances. You need to click here. Uh, we already created one. And you need to click here in new PDU. Um, can you also access the, the etherpad? Um, uh, yes, the address is, is there. I have already uh, in the in the bottom of the, the file I have uh, written the the IPs that you need to to um, enter here. Uh, these this, uh, are the both IPs of the router, uh, one the, the internal one and the external one. We are going to, to access the, the router through the external one. So please have in mind this, these IPs. We are going to use it uh, in the creation step of the PDU. So if you click here, you here set uh, BIOS. I don't know, hard test. The type of PDU to the gateway and use your Beam account, uh, whichever that, you, that you're using. Uh, it's a drop down, so you just select it there. And here on main, uh, we're going to see uh, this one. This is updated, so if you see. Is it clear? Can you see the, the contents of this? Of this? this says ETH1 and the external, we're going to, to configure two interfaces. The first one is the external interface, which its name is ETH1, the IP that's on, on the etherpad, um, 172.175. Uh, and this one uh, is our management interface, so we need to uh, select this as true. And also, uh, it's uh, on the external network, which is OSMX. So we should here, ATH1. Here we select true and our external network. And then we have another interface, ETH0, 10, 0, 0, 1, and this is false because it's an internal network, which is called BNF network. Uh, let's see if it's okay. Okay. So we managed to create this, and uh, the, the state of, of this uh, PDU is it's, it's that it's already not it's not in use. So when we when we instantiate a uh, HNF, uh, this is going to be changed to in use. So that's the first step. Uh, if you have an, an OSM client uh, or command line access, you can also use. A YAML file uh, and use the the complete the, 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 this command. Uh, but in this case, I had to, to to do it through the UI. So after we have the the PDU created, the second step is uh, you need to go to this address. The, to the FTP of the Hackfest in the packages, uh, and you need to download uh, these three packages. Uh, the C, uh, two, you, we are going to load two of these uh, examples as a BNF, of, of these packages as a BNF, which is the, the first two ones, the Cirrus BNF and the Gateway PNF, and uh, the third one is the hybrid uh, network service. We are going to load this as a network service. Let me show this. So 
I said the it's the serious BNF. It's this one. Also the gateway BNF, which is this one. And the BIOS, which might be at the bottom. Yes, it's this one. BIOS HNF. So once we download every um, package, then we then we just upload it to OSM. So the okay, I have already uh, I, I already did that, but I don't know if I can do it again. Uh, no, it's it's in conflict because it already exists. But okay, so you need to um, let's erase this to do it. Oh no. Okay, it, it's okay. Uh, just uh, drag and drop both of these zeros and gateway into BNF, and once you have done that. Uh, you can then uh, upload the the, B, the NS package here, which is already uploaded here, BIOS uh, HNF. And then uh, when when you have both of them loaded, we need to make uh, a little change uh, in the descriptor. So uh, here. So here in the descriptors, uh, this is a descriptor of the gateway. Uh, please check if all the green uh, boxes are, are the same. I think that this one, uh, from the first one, that is said interface name ETH1, in your descriptor, if you already load it, you're going to see that it's ETH0. Please change that to ETH1, because if you don't change it, it, won't, it won't work. I, I already committed that mistake. Can you speak higher? Oh, yes. Uh, it's like five uh, megas. So, <laughs> yes, but it shouldn't matter. The, the connection is <laughs> okay. So everyone is having uh, connectivity issues. Uh, let, let, let's give a, a couple of minutes. Uh, but as, as I say, the, I think that the, the only change that you need to make uh, into the, that descriptor is changing the name of the interface. It shouldn't be ETH0, it's ETH1, okay? Uh, the, the rest of the, the boxes should be already uh, Correct. And in the network service descriptor, I think that there is no mistake. So you can check, but uh, it's okay. So um, let's wait till. Uh, did you manage to download the gateway package, or are you still in that? Let's wait for one, two minutes, maybe. Okay, so 
if you are already uh, if you already onboarded your packages and made that that modification in the gateway package in the scriptor I mean uh, we now are going to launch uh, our network service we are going to use the um, the graphical user interface so if we go to network service instances You just need to, to you just need to launch this launch this as a as a normal. You don't need to add a key or config. You just um, select the BIOS HNF uh, network service and the Vim accounts that you are using, and then launch it. Uh, I'm not going to launch it in, in this uh, tenant uh, because. Uh, we already have had a problem with this. Oh, okay. okay, let's let's see if if it, if it works. Um, let's create. So this might might take like uh, at most ten, ten minutes. I I hope if we configure this properly. It's still creating. might have an error with maybe my uh, beam configuration. I'm going to try a different tenant. So I, I already did that uh, in this uh, tenant and, and it worked uh, correctly. So let's try again to create another PDU and to work with that.
Okay, I see that uh, a couple of you uh, have uh, already created the network service. Uh, I see some virtual machines here. Um, any one of you uh, have a, a question, is having a problem with the procedure? It might be a, a bit slow, just hang on. O sea, eh, perdón, sí, sí, eso, eso estaba tratando de hacer, de no pasar, ya. Entonces, ah, imagino que acá es. On more, ah, sí, tienes que. No, tienes que. Es, es que es un problema en esta versión baja. Borra lo que. Ya, entonces el que, el que está creado. Eh, aquí es. Aquí es lo estoy, lo estoy creando ahora mismo. Pero mira, lo de acá. Sí, es que es el mismo, es el mismo, pero... Ok, anyone else having problems with the PDU? We have some cases in which the, you missed uh, typing the gateway type inside the PDU type field. So that is uh, essential. So, in the, we are having uh, a problem with the last step. Uh, the, I think that you manage, some of you managed to, to instantiate the network service, but uh, while trying to 